In this video, we're gonna take two awesome subjects, icons and typography, and put them together to create an icon word. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. So if you're working on a creative project that allows you to put maximum expression in your words, this tutorial is gonna be great for you because I'm gonna show you how to take any icon and animate it with your title. So perhaps you're working on a logo animation or you wanna take your typography to the next level. We're gonna talk about a few awesome techniques in this video. So without wasting more time, let's jump into our tutorial and let's get started. All right, as always, you can download our project files for free if you wanna follow along. So you're gonna be able to do this for pretty much any title that you want. I have a very generic word here. You can also just say do this with a name of a company, for example, and you can put some icons in there to relate what the brand is all about. So here we are in a blank composition. And obviously you're gonna need the titles. So you can animate the title all together if you want to, but in this case, I actually wanna have more control and I wanna animate each letter individually. So what I wanna do is just grab the text tool and I'm gonna type out one letter at a time and I'll make sure that's centered up. Then what I'll do is go up to edit, duplicate, and I'll duplicate the letter, I'll move it over and then I'll type out the second letter. All right, so I got each of our letters typed out and like I said, you don't have to do this. If you want to animate the entire word, you can just type out your entire word and do one layer animation and you're gonna be able to follow the same exact concept of whether you're doing multiple letters or not. So the first thing I wanna do is come here to our first letter and I'm gonna open up our tab and go in here to animate and add a scale parameter. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna scale up our word Open the range selector one and add a keyframe for start. And then I'll move forward in time, maybe like 12 seconds and I'll set this up to 100%. All right, and I'll make the last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe by hitting F9 on my keyboard. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that this animation is maybe like eight frames long. And then I'm gonna take both these keyframes and move them to frame 12, just like this. So we'll just have that animation in there. And we'll go ahead and select animator one, copy it and paste it to the rest of the letters here. And you'll see why we're doing this in a second. This is gonna give us an overshoot animation and this is gonna save us a lot of time to do it this first. So make sure you begin your timeline and let's go back to the animate tab. And now this is where you can get creative with your animation, you can do whatever you want. You can add say a scale and we can scale this down to 0% like so. And we'll open up range selector one, we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward to that keyframe and set up to 100%. So what's happening here is we're overshooting the animation and it's gonna go back down to normal position. I like that. And you can do some other creative animations as well. So we have our second letter here and we'll come here to begin the timeline and we'll open up this, go to animate and we can do like enable per character 3D, which is very helpful. And we'll go back to animate, we'll add a rotation to this and we can set our X rotations like negative 90 degrees. And we'll come back here to range selector one, we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll do the same thing, set to 100%. And simply all we do is offset our layer in time, the second letter, and we'll have this animation. And then obviously you can continue on for each letter here, or you could just did it once if you're doing an entire word at once, but I like each letter separately. <clears throat> so just follow that concept and you can animate each letter individually like I just have. And I have the staircase animation here because everything's offset in time correctly. And you'll have individual letter animation, which I think is really nice. So now we're going to go how to add icons to your words. So now we can create something kind of unique, right? So what you're going to want to do is first of all, find these icons. We don't need to create these from scratch. So go to what I've been suggesting for a long time. Go to a site called freepix.com. If you want to download icons for free, you just type in here at the top what you're looking for, and you're going to find a wide range of icons, depending on the subject that you're looking for. You can download these for absolutely free. And when you download these files, you either get a .ai file or a .eps file. Make sure you open that in Adobe Illustrator and this will open up in an illustrator you should have illustrator if you have the creative cloud and you see all these icons are grouped together and we need to be able to isolate them so what we're gonna do is find icons that we want so when I find an icon that I want I'm gonna hold down control on my keyboard and that's gonna select it I'm gonna copy it go to file new and we'll create a new artboard 1080 by 1080 pixels is good to go and click create and all we're gonna do is paste our icon in here and we'll go ahead and grab the corner here hold down alt and shift on my keyboard to make this Nice and large, you don't have to do that, but I'm going to. And then go to file, save, and then you can save your file as an AI file. So I have a handful of icons in here that I saved from Illustrator that I downloaded from FreePix. And now I can add these icons into my project. So what we'll do is we'll find an icon that we wanna bring in and we'll bring it right here into After Effects. We can scale it down by hitting S on our keyboard and scaling it down. We can also go to Effect, Generate, Fill, and we can have it match the color of our word and now we can just bring this here hit r and keyboard for rotation we can rotate our icon and that looks good now we just got to add some animation to this icon and then it'll blend in with our word just great so we'll want our icon to pop in right when our word is finished animating so what we'll do 
is first of all we'll grab the pan behind tool and we'll grab our anchor point and we'll put it to where we have our word attached that way we'll animate our icon from the letter so for example what i could do here is hit s on my keyboard for scale and add a keyframe for scale move that keyframe forward and i'll set the scale down to zero percent and that's going to grow right from the letter itself and it blends perfectly in there uh, since we're using the same color and then i can hit r on my keyboard for rotation for example and i'll click the stopwatch for rotation and i'll type in wiggle open parenthesis two comma twenty close parenthesis just like this right here and I'll click off it so now we're gonna have a icon animated on with our word and then we can continue to expand this technique and add some other icons in here so now I added a tree in here and I can grab the pan behind tool as before put the anchor point at the bottom and I can scale it in from right where we're at so that scale down to zero percent and we do the same exact expression hit R on keyboard for rotation and type in the wiggle expression again so now we'll have some constant animation on with our second pair of icon and now you can take these techniques and expand the title and the more icons that you add to your animation the more detailed it's going to look so i'm always looking to increase the value of my work and one way that i took this title animation to the next level is by using accent motion graphics which we have our own after effects extension pack that allows us to add easy accent graphics to any project we're working on and i want to show you how this works and how we can increase the value of your projects so these are accent motion graphics these shapes are animating on our title are called accent motion graphics and i have a full tutorial on how to create them if you want to watch I will link it below. But we have something here called a 200 accent graphics pack extension where we can preview 200 accent graphics already pre made. And when we find something we want, we can just click on apply. And it applies a full animated accent graphic template into our comp. And we can integrate it right into our work to add more detail to our project. And we can take this even further by applying a handful of other graphics from our pack. We also have another pack in here called the Motion Graphics Starter Pack, which has over 650 elements from Accent Motion Graphics, but we also have over 200 title animations in here. And we can apply a full title animation into our composition with a click of a button. And then we go inside that composition and quickly change out our titles. And we have a control layer in every single one of our templates where we can easily change our colors and change other parameters as we see fit. And by adding accent graphics, we can bring our title animation to the next level very quick with just a few clicks. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work, you can take a look at all of our packs off our website, like our 200 accent motion graphics pack or our motion graphics starter pack. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So that's our tutorial on creating animated icon typography right here instead of After Effects. A lot of cool techniques involved in this tutorial and it's pretty much a very easy concept to put together. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new to our channel be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.